Welcome to Storytime, the series where I tell you stories based on true events shared by people who wish to share their scariest moments. This video is about a woman who has been disturbed numerous times throughout her life since she was five. This is her story. Currently in her 40s and preferred having her name anonymous, let's call her Aisha. The first time Aisha encountered something strange was when she was around 5 years of age. Her family stayed in government quarters at the time, a 3 bedroom house made of wood. The first encounter she had was when she saw a horrific and ugly looking dark figure. The creature was dark and tall, had a face that looked inhuman and dreadful, with dislocated facial features that was indescribable. The creature she saw was so scary that even over 40 years later, she remembers its face with detail. Two years later, while Aisha was around 7 years old, she was sleeping with her parents and her newborn sister. They used to sleep with mosquito nettings that dangle from the ceiling, covering their beds. So one night, while she was sleeping, something woke her up in the middle of the night. She opened her eyes and saw a woman wearing a praying view, also known as a Tulukong in Malay, standing outside the mosquito netting, just watching her family while they sleep. Still naive, she thought it was her mom getting ready to pray, but it kept coming closer and closer to Aisha. She came so close that Aisha could see its face. Her face was smooth and pale and beautiful, but it wasn't her mother. Before she could react, her mother touched her shoulder from behind asking why she's still awake. As soon as Aisha turned back to the woman, it was gone. Feared for what she saw, Aisha suffered having phobia seeing women wearing a praying veil, thinking of the woman she saw. Several years later, Aisha had just entered high school. She was 13 at the time and entered Form 1. Her parents had left the government quarters and her father bought them a new house. The house was a big beautiful bungalow and Aisha was so excited when they moved. The first few nights were perfect and they were so happy staying there. After a few weeks, something happened to Aisha. She was sleeping on a single bed next to her aunt and her cousin who was sleeping on a double bed. At that moment, Aisha woke up from sleep in the middle of the night and felt like she couldn't move. She felt confused and weird why she couldn't move. Her eyes were open, but she could only see darkness and couldn't even move her fingertips. She felt a hand with long fingernails creeping from behind her head, from her forehead and down to her chin while she lay helpless on the bed. She couldn't see anything except feel cold breathing on her face and having the feeling of these long unexplainable fingernails. This was the first time she ever felt so restrained to the extent that she couldn't stop it. She started to pray in her heart and read a few Islamic verses, but nothing changed. After continuously repeating the word Allah, she finally felt free. Endless thoughts were running through her mind, trying to understand what happened and why, but she couldn't explain it. It was like something had hugged her so tight, so tight, she felt like she was tied to her bed, so numb she couldn't even move her muscles. Once it let her go, she ran from her bed and turned on all the lights looking for some explanation. But nothing was there. After graduating high school and moving to a college, Aisha stayed in a hostel room sharing it with two other roommates. One weekend, one of her roommates went back home leaving only Aisha and one of her other roommates. Aisha usually leaves the radio on to help her study, so that night she turned the radio on just enough for her to hear it. She studied up until midnight, 
Feeling tired, she headed to bed and started listening to her Walkman. While listening to her music on her earphones, she was taken by surprise when she heard a giggle. She then heard the giggle once more. She took off her earphones and that's when she tried to listen, but the sound stopped. She walked over to her window and opened it, thinking the sound she heard was from people passing by her window, but she saw no one around. She headed back to bed, ready to sleep. Then she heard it again. She was so scared and her heartbeat began to pump faster and faster. She turned on the volume on her Walkman and started reading several verses from the Old Quran. She remembered what her grandmother used to tell her. Never feel the devil. They have no power over the power of Allah. So ask for help from Allah. She focused on reading the verses properly and more confident each time. The sounds of the giggling started to sound faint and it sounded like it was moving further and further away until it finally stopped. She was so scared from what happened that she stayed awake until sunrise and she can't truly describe the sound she heard because it didn't sound like a human giggling but she said it sounded more like a demonic static sound that rings in your ears. She was happy and grateful that she was able to chase away the demon. The situation had helped her realize that these creatures are not as strong as they seem they are compared to us humans. And as long as we rely on the power of God, we will be safe. This is story time, and this concludes Aisha's story. Please don't forget to subscribe to Wisefies, like and share this video. This is Wisefies. See you next time.